This is the best day. The best day! <laughs> Me too. Whenever you want to turn in, I'd love to take this whole touch thing for a test drive. I know we have important things to do, but we deserve a little sweetness too. Oh man, I can't wait. I think the others are asleep. Hi. Since I met you, all I wanted was to be close to you. We're sure I won't hurt you, right? May I test that theory? Say it loud. I'm yours, Karlak. My name sounds so good in your mouth. I'd like to take you to bed now. Hmm. Gods be damned. It's a good day to be alive. Good morning. Sorry I didn't wait around this morning. I was just... just buzzing. Didn't want to wake you. I loved it too. <laughs> More than I've ever loved anything. <laughs> Last night was uh, incredible. <laughs> this morning is incredible. Every moment with you is beyond belief. <laughs> you still like me, right? <laughs> I much more than like you too. And, uh, and nothing bad is going to happen now. In that case, bring it on. I adore you, you know. I love you too! <laughs> oh my god! I've been dying to say that. <laughs> oh. oh my god, if I smile any bigger, my face is going to crack. <laughs> oh, I'm pathetic. Besotted, and it's all your fault. I guess we better get the day on. So much to do, so much to see. Together. Hey! You are here. Good. Come with me. Hidden at the 
center of her desire, you discover something unexpected. Fear. I would have you by my side in Menzo Berenson when our work on the surface is done. Speak to me. Tell me what is in your heart. <laughs> As did I. During the battle, my mind raced. My blood burned. I was righteous. But tonight, I only heard your breath and your voice. The Absolute was silent. And, strange to say, that brought me comfort. How is that possible? The artifact pulses softly, sending out a warning. It is a friend. You are right. But I cannot deny what my heart tells me. So much that has happened since I left the Underdark is like a dream of somebody else's life. I do not know myself anymore. Except tonight. Tonight, I wanted this. For myself. I must pray, and you must rest. Tomorrow, we will have fresh orders. In your dream, you stand over yourself as you sleep. A knife in your hand. Murder in your heart. You are ready to strike, to end your own life. But then a shock runs through your mind. This is no dream. Wake up, Trousseau. We must talk. I watched over you as you slept. Peaceful and silent. And I spoke to our god. I asked her why she had chosen you, made you one of her faithful, when you are so clearly broken. Beautiful, but broken. There is something missing in you, and I do not understand it. When the Absolute failed to answer me, I feared that you had somehow infected me with that same absence. And so I decided that you must die. But then, a miracle happened. As I took out my blade, her voice returned to me. And she told me what I must do to purge myself of doubt. She told me to decide your fate. To determine if you are worthy. If you are, I am to send you into her embrace. At the seat of her power. In time, I believe we may be together. I want more than to fight at your side, or sit around the campfire with you. I want to lay with you under the stars and feel your skin against mine. I think you feel the same way. Why else would you have been so concerned about whether I had a lover before? But tell me I'm wrong, and the matter can rest. I do not wish to sour our friendship. But I have to know if it can be something more. I was concerned perhaps my imagination was playing tricks on me. My stomach was in knots like some lovelorn 90-year-old. 
If we do this, I need you to understand exactly what I do not ask of you. I will not ask you to dedicate yourself to me. I roam as nature wills me to, and your heart remains your own. I just wish to share in it. When the others are sleeping, we'll slip away together. <laughs> and we won't get much sleep. You came. I was concerned you might have had doubts, or that this might have all been too soon. Yes, you are. And you're perfect. I'm almost frightened to touch you. If I give in, I may not be able to stop until I've devoured you. <laughs> Nevertheless, I will be gentle. That was something I had dreamed about for some time. <laughs> and now I realize just how woefully meager my dreams were compared to the reality. I would still be there with you now if the sun hadn't intruded on us and the city hadn't stirred for the day. Are you sure? Holding back is not in my nature, but I would not wish to alarm you or harm you. Nor I. At my age, I've come to see that little is worth regretting in the long run, apart from regrets themselves. Perhaps fate will afford us more time together. I hope it does. I've attended my share of fancy balls and masquerades. A few elegant moves can turn all the right heads. Figured it was time to brush up on my skills. I wouldn't want to fail my new partner. As luck would have it, she just arrived. May I have this dance? Bravo! <laughs> Bravo! No need to be modest. You were a delight to behold. 
Now, perhaps we might try a more intimate style. So much shadow around us, to think I almost missed the light. Well, it's getting late. We can't face the morrow if we don't bid farewell to the now. I'm tempted, trust me. I thought my heart might burst with every step, but I still keep faith in the old tales of love. The once upon a times and the happily ever afters. I'd like to do this the proper way. The way of the old romances sung by the bards. Till next time. Good night. And dream sweetly. Look at you, soldier. If I didn't know better, I'd say you're falling in love. Can't say you didn't choose well. Will looks absolutely besotted. I know I had designs on you, but I'm glad you found a little happiness with someone who could actually give it to you. Especially someone like Will. Well, it might not be. Not with this tin can in my chest. You deserve someone... someone... whole. I'm not sure what to say. What about Will? He deserves... everything. He deserves you. Oh, thank the gods. I thought I was losing you for a second there. Not sure this old hunk of junk I call a heart can take any more damage. But poor Will. He's going to be heartbroken. I don't know if he'll want me to be there for him, but... But Will, I don't know. This is shit. I'm glad you chose me. But I'm sorry if it comes at the cost of Will's heartbreak. Let him down easy, all right? You made it. Come here. Sit with me. Well, to begin, I think a toast is in order. Any suggestions? Bold. What does us entail? I suppose I'll find out. To us. Now tell me something about yourself. And no tadpoles, dragons, marauding goblins, or anything like that. Something about you. Seems like you truly know the city. I never got to explore it to my liking. Don't stop now. Not just as things are getting interesting. laugh, but I'm not quite sure I have anything to share. When you worship Shard, secrecy is everything. We'll sacrifice our own memories when ordered to. A lot of the little things, they're lost to me right now.
perhaps. But please, enough about me. Sharing's bad for my complexion. There's still plenty of wine, and the whole night is ahead of us. Nearly light. The others will be awake soon. What? I know. But you're sweet to notice. Thank you for last night. Me too. She trails off. You read an invitation in her eyes. That didn't hurt, did it? Good to know. For the future. Let's head back. If we must. The hurt runs deeper than he's willing to show you. Beneath the resilient veneer, a touch of fragility. It's been a very long time since someone did that. For me. Mind. I'm grateful. It just doesn't stop. We are being bombarded by waves of telepathic energy. Wave after wave with hardly a breath between them. I almost dare not rest. Each wave, a set of orders to the infected. The order for your transformation has been given many times already. I just hope my powers last long enough to see this through. away. Of course. Of course. I was just practicing an incantation. She does. She's... She's Mistra. I can't quite describe it. The need... I sometimes feel to see her. To draw the filaments of fantasy into existence. No sculpture or painting could ever do her justice. Only the fabric that she herself is. And embodies. The weave. Mistra is all magic. And as far as I'm concerned, she is all creation. Magic is... My life. I've been in touch with the Weave for as long as I can remember. There's nothing like it. It's like music, poetry, physical beauty, all rolled into one and given expression through the senses. That is why I asked you to seek me out, to offer you a taste of such wonders. Would you like me to show you? Then follow my lead.
Now you. You feel something strange, like a kind word and a kind touch at the same time. It's warm and comfortable. Excellent. Now, repeat after me. Athra Mistra Ril Kantrak Eo. Suddenly, the scent of rose water and a sense of well-being. A sliver of weave that tastes sweet on the tongue. Very good. Now, I want you to picture in your mind the concept of harmony. As true as you can. You see, or is it sense, the presence of a woman. The woman who hovered over Gail's palm. There's something like the anticipation of a kiss. Then the pleasure of being cloaked in peace. You are safe. You are nestled in the cup of Mistra's hand. <laughs> you did it. You're channeling the weave. How does it feel? That it does. The weave connects you. The moment feels intimate. You realize the weave is making you one. You have but to imagine your desire, and Gale will know it. I... I didn't think. You perceive quick-fire gusts of embarrassment, trepidation, and finally, elation. Sorry, I wasn't expecting... But it is a pleasant image, to be sure. Most pleasant, in fact. Most welcome. The weave evaporates. And as it does so, you realize the night feels suddenly cold and lonesome. Yes. When you lie down for the night, I will come, and I will take what is mine. Gith train relentlessly. We know our bodies inside and out. It's time to rise. Dawn is upon us. I'm as extraordinary in bed as I am on the battlefield. Are you so offended by truth? You will find no better lay. Up now. The sun soon rises. Well, hello. Welcome to my humble party. What's your poison? Red? White? Ah, a good, full-bodied choice. So, what are we drinking to? Other than a pile of corpses. To victory. Mmm. Delicious. So, what happens next? Oh, 
a little talking, a little drinking, and once everyone else is asleep, we get to know each other. Indeed you will, my love. Indeed you will. Not quite yet, love. Let's wait until they're asleep. I was hoping to find you before you turned in for the night. My blood runs hot after the battle. As she looks you up and down, her mind touches yours. You feel her hand at your neck, her lips closing around yours. In Menzo Baranzan, the highborn would prostrate themselves before me for a fleeting taste of my body. Be mine tonight, and you will know why. Disappointing, but perhaps you lack the imagination to satisfy me. The buzz of celebration quiets to a soothing hum as you approach your bunk. Though you seek repose, you needn't spend the night alone. There is one who yearns for you in the dark. Who will you seek? Your heart skips a beat. What treasures might this night bestow? What a party. We should do this again. What's done is done. But we should check the corpses for valuables. Don't you love the silence after a massacre? It's just so... pure. How about some rest? It's been quite an evening. Thank you.